G'day. I'm here in the little humble kitchen that I have and I'm making hummus today. Everyone loves hummus, right? Anyway, I've used a tin of chickpeas because I really um, find they're easier to use. I can have them, I can take them camping, I can, you know, have hummus whenever I want. You can boil your dried chickpeas and get a similar result. And it's actually, um, it, it's up to you. It's very nutty and flavoursome. Make sure you get a good quality, a high quality chickpea. I've put two big tablespoons of tahini in. I get the unhulled one because it tastes well, I think it tastes more nutty and I think it tastes um, really creamy and mm, there's, a, there's a taste to it anyway, you don't get with the hulled. So that means it's still got the casing on it and um, I prefer that one. Um, I just juiced a uh, lemon and uh, with the rind, I keep that. You can boil it up and then use the water in one of those squirty bottles for the toilet and the bathroom, which is really, really good. Right. So in there, I then put lemon. Now, I don't know how much. I put a bit of a dash and then I try it you know, taste it and then later on if I think I need some more, then I just add it. So I've got some uh, Hing, H-I-N-G or S for tidy, and uh, you can buy this from any um, Indian shop. And I'll put about, I don't know, what's that? Teaspoon, half a teaspoon. It's onion in. So rather than putting onion in or shallots in, you can put this one in. And the trick to using Hing is that um, you, it stops you getting flatulence and that's what the Indians use in their curries and things like that to give it a bit of a flavour but also to stop your belly um, getting a little achy. I like to put a little dash of olive oil. It's up to you. That's optional. Probably, you know, here nor there. A whole clove of garlic. Now, this one is huge and it's up to you how much garlic you put in. You can put more or less. You'll come accustomed to the amount you put in and of course your taste buds will tell you what you want. Um, now I've kept a little bit of the uh, aquafaba and the aquafaba is the juice that the uh, chickpeas come in. Now that is a brilliant thing and I'll be making some aquafaba mayonnaise a little bit later on. But today I keep a little bit because if this is really really thick I can then just add a little bit and it, it you know picks it right up and it's you know it's healthy you're not adding just water out of the tap or something. So now I've got chili powder and and just have a look at that. It's actually homemade. I uh, freeze the chilies when they come off the tree and um, you can de-seed them if you like and or not. I don't and it, it's this beautiful, beautiful, I mean that's a really thick consistency there. But once you use it, you can um, then chop it up and put it in there. Um, I like a bit of chili in, so today I'm gonna put some fresh chili in. Um, well, it's not fresh, it's frozen, but um, I'll just whack that in and that'll be good. A little bit of the dried as well. I like a little bit hot and a little salt and pepper to your liking. I don't have a lot because I like pepper. <laughs> have as little or as much of that as you like as well. Just like a little bit of a lot. Uh, right, and then I've cooked these 
capsicum, you could call them peppers. You can use bell peppers or any type of uh, capsicum -y thing. Um, I don't know what they call them in some countries. I think they might call them peppers, but here we call them capsicum. And uh, they just really set this off because, you know, hummus can be a little bit boring. And if you don't like a nutty flavor, you still want to get your protein and this is a great way of getting a little bit of a hit every day. Um, just whack that in. Just going to whack the whole lot in because I really like it. And plus, there's a lot of goodness in that. A vitamin C and all these other vitamins. Now, uh, that's about it. So what I'm going to do is... I mean, how easy is this? You'd never buy bought store-bought after you make your own. It's just, yeah, it's not going to help. So, all I do, you know, this is my favourite machine in the kitchen. It's just a blender. It's brilliant. And I'm going to pop that in once I turn it on. So I'm just pulsing it. And um, that just gets it to mix up a little bit. And you can keep an eye on how thick it is. And you may need to add a little bit more aquafaba, which I'll do because this is actually, it is a little bit thick. As it blends in, just, uh, you can mix it a little bit more. Um, it's looking really, really good now. if you're putting it on little crackers or dirts and you want to add, you know, a few other little, you know, dulcy flakes or nutritional yeast or something like that. Don't worry if you've got the little chunks in it. But today I've, I've blended it fairly fine. I think it could do with a little bit more um, lemon, but you don't want to overdo the lemon because the lemon can end up overpowering the nutty flavour and the chilli flavour. And once you leave this in um, the fridge overnight, it actually becomes this such, you know, everything enriches and it becomes a full flavoured hummus. And that's what you want. So eating it now, I mean, that, I can tell that tastes really good. But tomorrow, that's going to be really fantastic. So if you're going to a party, I suggest you make it the day before and store it overnight so that the full flavour comes out in it. Okay, so I'm just going to have another little taste of that. That's it. So just add the lemon. Like I said, don't add it all at once, otherwise you're going to end up with this really, really tangy um, dip. You don't want that. You want all the flavours to be there and you want it to be, you know, you want to enjoy having it. So there's one thing else. Oh, oh I'll just show off my nice shelves again. <laughs> I just uh, put a little maple syrup in, get the 100% maple syrup. Now that just, I only put, I don't know, dash. Just get a little thing up. Now you don't have to do that. I just like to do it every now and then. You could put honey in or any other sweetener. And there you have it. It's um, all done by the shouting. <laughs> okay, that's lovely and pink. It's got a lovely colour to it. And there you have it. A nice little bowl of hummus 
to have with your chips or veggie sticks, whatever you want to eat. I mean, I just got to just spoon it out and eat it sometimes. It's just really yummy and I haven't got time, you know, so I'll, I'll have a, a little bit of that for a snack. You can get really inventive with what you're putting in there. Sometimes I'll put in some curry um, or some other, you know, flavors like cayenne pepper to really give it a hit. You just play around with it and add what you want. I'm just showing you the basic, well, you've seen the basic hummus without all the, you know, the capsicum. But yeah, give it a go and hope it's successful for you and I hope you really enjoy it and make it more often. Catch you later. Bye.